Stop manually copying your folder structures at the beginning of a new year. Automate that shit. In this Power Automate tutorial, I'll show you how to duplicate your folder structure into multiple folders with a single click. I'll cover how to create an instant cloud flow that you can trigger from Teams. If you want to learn how to create this automation, keep watching. Timestamps are listed in the description box below. Feel free to skip ahead. For our automation, we'll need to duplicate an existing folder structure. To keep things organized in my SharePoint site, I've created a document library to store these folder structures. Since it's the start of the new year, I need to duplicate the year folder structure into these project folders listed here. In Power Automate, I'll create an instant cloud flow. Give your flow a name so you can find it later. This flow will be triggered by the Compose box. Click on Create Adaptive Card. I want to specify the year, essentially specifying the folder name. It makes it flexible should I need to specify a year range. I also want to be able to specify the folder structure template. I'll delete all but two input fields. I'm going to edit the card title and change the font size to large. The first input will be for the year or year range. The next will be for the name of the folder structure template. And I'll need to change the style from email to text. For the second field, I want to add a bit of spacing above it. I'm going to save the card. Next, insert a compose action. I'll use this action to specify the folder path to my folder structure templates. Enter a forward slash, the document library, and I'll insert the folder structure template from the adaptive card input. Add a list folder action. I'll select my site. For the file identifier, you can navigate to your template folder by clicking the folder icon. However, for my flow, I'm specifying the folder structure name in the adaptive card. I'll need to wrap the previous compose action in an encode URI component expression. Insert the folder structure template path here. Next, add a get files action. I'll select my site and the library name. And we don't want to include nested items. We just want to look at the root folders listed. Add and apply to each action. This action will loop through each folder in the sales document library. Add a compose action. This action will be used to compose the path to each sales folder. Enter forward slash document library, in my case it's sales, another forward slash, and the name from the previous get files action. Add another compose action. This action will be used to compose the folder path to the new year folder. Insert the folder name from the previous get files action, forward slash, and the year from the adaptive card input. Add a list folders action. We'll use this to list the folders in each sales folder to ensure that a folder with the same year doesn't already exist. I'll select my site. For the file identifier, we'll use the encode URI component expression just as we did in the previous list folder action. And we'll insert the sales folder path output. Insert a filter array action. Grab the body from the previous action. We'll insert the name. We'll keep this as is equal to. And here we're gonna enter the year from the adaptive card input. Insert a condition action. I'm going to use the length expression and I'll insert the body from the filter array action. Change this to is greater than zero. If a folder with the same name already exists, I don't want my flow to do anything. If a folder with the same name doesn't exist, I'd like my flow to create one. Insert a create new folder action. I'm going to select the site address and my document library. For the folder path, I'm going to insert the new year folder path compose action here. Next, insert and apply to each action. For this apply to each action, I'd like it to loop through each of the folders listed in my template folder. I'm gonna grab the body from the very first list folders action. And for each of those folders, I wanna create a new folder in my new year folder. I'm gonna select the site address and my document library. And my folder path would be the new year folder forward slash the name of the template subfolder. So you wanna make sure you're selecting the right name. So this is from the very first list folders action. I'm going to turn on concurrency control for this last apply to each. I'm going to save the flow and test it out. When this flow runs, it will create a 2023 folder that contains all of these month subfolders in each of these folders in my sales document library. From the compose box of the Power Automate chat in Teams, click on the three dots and click workflows. I'm gonna click on yearly sales folders. I'm gonna enter 2023. Folder structure template name is year folder. The flow took 55 seconds to run. A 2023 folder has been created from my year folder structure template in each of these folders in the sales document library. 
The first run of the flow took 55 seconds. I'm going to edit my flow and turn on the concurrency control for the first apply to each action to reduce the total time it takes for the flow to run. We'll save that and we'll give that a test. By turning on the concurrency control in the first apply to each action, it reduces the overall time for the flow from 55 seconds to eight. Turning on the concurrency control loops through each of the folders in the sales document library at once rather than one at a time, which reduces the time it takes for the flow to run. Because the folder structure template name is dynamic in our flow, it makes it more flexible. Let's run this flow again and specify a different folder structure template. Now each folder in the sales document library has a 2023 sales folder with the subfolders from the yearly project folder template. What redundant tasks are you looking to automate? Let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to learn how to create multiple folders with custom permissions from a SharePoint list, watch this video. Thanks for watching.